Today I want to show you how you can remove all your tweets for free um, on an Android phone. Um, first you have to install Firefox, um, then add the Ryland Monkey extension, um, install the tweet Excel script and finally visit x.com um, and the script will show up as the blue bar. Uh, we will go through the process together, so if you're not familiar with the different things, just follow along. First you go to the Play Store um, or another App Store where you can get Firefox. I have installed it already, so I can just open it. Um, next we need the Violent Monkey extension. I find the easiest way is to go to the website violentmonkey.github.io. There you find the button Get Started and you see the different browsers that are supported. We use Firefox, so we click on Firefox. And here is normally a blue button, or I can remove it. So here is the blue button. Um, you click it, it asks for the different permissions. Be very careful when using user scripts because you can access all the data that you see on the screen or you type into it um, on the websites um, where the user script is active. So maybe remove the extension if you're not using it for anything else afterward. Now we have the extension. The next step is to install the user script. Um, it's on Greasy Fork, but you can also go um, to github.com slash lokahama slash tweet xer, um, where you will find the link to Greasy Fork. So you scroll down to alternative um, and there is the URL for Greasy Fork. And then you can press the install the script button you see the script, so you can check again if this is the same script um, that is shown on the GitHub page. It should be, um, you see the version and everything. Um, and if you're ready, you can press the install button and then press close. Um, if you reload the page, you see now it says reinstall version because you have installed it already. Um, and then you can go to xx.com, x, whoops, x.com. And you see that um, the tweet XR, uh, the tweet XR user script shows up at the top of the page. Um, you can already click on advanced options and uh, for example, use a slow delete without file and it will uh, remove the tweets one after another. So when we click it, it should start. Yes, it does. Um, this takes more time, but it works as well, especially if you have fewer tweets, something like 3000 tweets. Um, if you have more than 3000 tweets, I would recommend to use the fast delete option. Um, I reload the page to stop it. For fast delete, you have to download your Twitter export first and unzip it. I did it already, um, so I can just choose Browse and then go to my Downloads and select the Tweet Headers option. And um, it tries to proceed where it has left off and will delete um, the tweets that are in the file. And you can see how they are removed. Um, and once you're done, you can reload it and then should be empty, so the profile should be empty. If it isn't, you can once again use the slow delete option to remove the rest of the uh, tweets. I hope it works for you. If you have any questions, um, please leave them in the comments.